What's going on? Building a, a finish in a quarter panel. <laughs> Try that again. What's up, Mike? I thought you quit that. <laughs> yeah, I know. That wasn't him. He was playing. He's, he's a kidder. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Hey, shoot. Uh, so, latest look at the body. Chase is working on that left rear quarter, and that should finish this old girl up. Uh, we just heard Uncle Eddie ain't going to make it today. He's getting, he's got some work to do over in Florida, working on his sister's place. Some damage she got from, uh, I don't know if it was Milton or Helene that came through and got Miss Sandra's. It was the second to last one. Yeah, got Miss Sandra's uh, porch and little roof over camper, I believe. So Eddie's over there working on that. Let's talk Volusia, why I got you two guys here. I told you the only thing I'd admit to. I oh, I, I, listen, yeah, no, stop. Mike? You, uh, I didn't know much about it, but I do know they told some stuff. About yeah, so 30, there was 58 entries. 31 started to feature, 11 finished. Oh, wow. And they said the ones that got in a wreck got in a wreck bad, like tore up bad. But, but, it was one guy that, that caused it. It wasn't people, just one guy. I didn't see the race, what? but there's no way it was just one guy. Now, he he did admittingly say that he caused four wrecks. One of the wrecks I watched, he collected at least six cars. Okay, well, may, one, maybe it was one, all on him. I'm telling you. Yeah. And then the next one I watched, he collected at least two. Yeah. So, if my if my math is right, that's at least eight right there. Yeah, well, either way, I'm glad we're not sitting here like, how are we going to get another car this quick to go race at the dome? Because yeah. here we are. With a car that looks brand new back here, all we got to do is put the wrap on it, and uh, we're ready to go. Right. So I'm thankful for that. But no doubt, it was a good, it was a memorial race, really good turnout. I would have liked to have been there, but like I said, in our circumstances, maybe next year we'll have two UMP cars and nothing to lose, and, and we can go do it. But uh, this year, it just didn't work out. But uh, So enough about that. Mike, have you tried a new water yet? I have not. In the bay. Uh, it's in the refrigerator. Refreshing. High, high quality H2O, for sure. Yeah. Yep, all natural. No no stuff added or taken out of it. So. One million parts to square millimeter. And no, no, sir. Something like that. It is so pure it will not conduct electricity. I, oh, yeah, water oh, yeah. does conduct electricity, yeah. for, to my knowledge. You know, you yeah. can't be standing in water and working on electrical because you get shocks and all that. that water, yeah, you could stand in this water. And with an electric eel, and it'd be fine. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try some. All right. Come lunchtime. All right. All right, then. Well, I'll let y'all get back at it. I hope I remember to edit this out. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad mistake. <laughs> he was just kidding, though. Yeah. 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 I, I, I just kind of walked with my eyes up. Yeah. I thought you saw him because you was mid singing that song and you like cut it off and I was like, he sees him. No. And then when you let that sing, I was like, yeah. He definitely saw him. Y'all got to be a better uh, role model for We got a new employee today, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a new, new, new boy coming to, uh, He's supposed to work honestly just December. So yeah, he may not kind of when long, he can. Yeah, very long. Uh, play so, sports. Yeah, so how it happened uh, in our local neighborhood here, the Wood Subdivision. So I guess it was his parents put it out there that he was looking for a little job. You know, it's it's tough that age because you can't commit to too much, and we're kind of open. We can we can take somebody that can only work a little bit or at our own schedule or whatever. So. We met with him last week, and he's he's uh, reporting for duty today. So, so if, if y'all don't run him off, so y'all be hey, y'all be I'm gonna go ahead and let you go right here. Okay, that's fine. All right, man. I'm gonna shut this off because it just got awkward. <laughs> Later. It is Monday around lunchtime. Uh, Chase, Mikey, and Rocky are gone with one of our local. Racing buddies, uh, Kevin Cumby. I know y'all see me wear the 
the orange and gray cap all the time that says Kevin come be logging. He called and uh, took the guys to lunch. Y'all see what I'm doing. Uh, not something that I wanted to do. I don't think we talked about it, but one of the trips while we were gone, my big air compressor that's been in that corner right there, uh, it had a airline blowout and we didn't have a valve shut off on it. And uh, the week we were gone, my air compressor ran the whole time. This happened months ago. And a couple weeks ago, Rocky and I took the motor off and was trying to diagnose what could be wrong with it. And uh, we thought maybe it was the, uh, uh, I forget what them things are called. Uh, dang it. It's on the tip of my tongue. I want to call them insulators, but I know that's wrong. Anyway, the, the things on the motor that, that helps uh, fire the motors off, the things that, that store power, somebody will correct me on here. Anyway, we, we was thinking that's what it was. I took them off of the motor, took them down to a local place, and they tested them and said they were good. Capacitor, capacitors. Uh, they checked them, said they were good. So they said it must be my motor burn up. I looked around, nobody around here had a motor. I heard Harbor Freight sells a motor that would have fit this thing. Uh, either way, uh, I, I looked this up for a new, I could order a new motor and it was gonna be like 700 bucks for a motor for it. So uh, I just decided Chase went to Facebook Marketplace and he found one of these air compressors for $1,200 and it was the exact same thing, looked like brand new, but it's used. And this thing brand new was 1500 bucks. And I've had that one for probably, I don't know, probably five, six years. Y'all probably remember when I got it way back when. It was actually setting right where this, <laughs> where this doorway is. There was a spot out there. That was the only concrete I had at the time. It was outside of my shop and I had put that awning out there and that's where that was the only piece of concrete out there at the time. That's where that compressor was when we built Chase's Edition. I moved it in here. And uh, like I said, airline was leaking. Obviously, we knew it was leaking because it would it had been, uh, that's what it looked like. And when we got home, those uh, pliers had popped off. And anyway, the thing was running and it burned, burned my compressor up. And Chase claimed he was gonna go win the dome and buy me a new one when the, after he won. And not that I don't believe him, but uh, it, it's been long enough out here with no air. You don't realize how important air is in a shop until you don't have it. And that's even this day and age with all the battery powered stuff. You know, I, my dad, my dad was a mechanic my whole life. And him and my uncle, when they had their shop or when he worked for people, all their tools were air, air ratchets, air impact air everything they used air to blow out uh after they cleaned parts to blow out carburetors and stuff everything they used air for and i don't ever remember them working on an air compressor or having anybody work they had old timey air compressors and they always had air when they needed air but uh you you got to have air in a shop i know everybody uses battery everything but i hadn't found a, a replacement for good old-fashioned air so anyway, I'm fixing to put the oil in this thing, hook the wire into it, and uh, get my air going back in my shop again. So just figured I'd update y'all. That's what I'm working on. Later. Folks, it's been a long time since I've been on. Just a notification for everybody. Two weeks till Dude, she wouldn't birthday. fire off as soon as I hit record, huh? Two weeks till your birthday, huh? What's Two going weeks. on out here? Testing flashlight. All right. Uh, Sunday, December 1st. Road to the Dome. Road to the Dome. This is actually a uh, edit. So, I was making the video for tonight, and I was talking about my new air compressor, and I realized that we got on Patreon and told the whole story about the air compressor, and I did not tell y'all what happened so i need to fix this video 
Uh, this is my original air compressor. Replaced it with that one. When the, when the thing went out, I just thought it burned the motor up. Uh, Ted and Rocky said to check the breaker. Well, I'm not an electrician. I, I touched a little wire thing to the wires and it went dee dee dee. So I thought both of them had power. The breaker wasn't like broken or anything. So I bought a new air compressor, hooked it up. It didn't work. So then we took, and I had another breaker in there that was running my welding machine. We unhooked those wires, hooked the breaker wires to it. Thing fired right up. So the moral to the story is, uh, a breaker like this can click and click and still be no good. And it can beep, 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 beep on both sides and still be no good. They said you check it with an ohm meter. The electricians on here is probably rolling their eyes like, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know. I've always thought that if a breaker went bad, I've had them before where they won't, where they won't turn on. They'll half click and they won't set. This thing here sounds like it's doing everything it's supposed to do. But this $17 breaker is the reason I bought a new air compressor. I took this one, put it all back together, uh, hooked, hooked up my, uh, I took that wire out of that plug right there, hooked it over in the here, and this little unit fired up and run like a charm. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Chase put it up for sale, and one of our local racing friends has purchased it just hadn't come and picked it up yet and i'm very confident that they've got them a very good air compressor that they'll get many many years of service out of because it's like i said it's been well taken care of besides that airline leak which uh caused a problem which apparently burned that breaker up and anyway that's just an update we're getting ready for the dome got a uh, the video coming out tomorrow night is going to be the one where we release the big announcement that we've been telling y'all about so uh y'all stay tuned tomorrow night we're gonna unveil the the wrap in the video which some of y'all's already seen it on facebook and tiktok but it's gonna go on a youtube video as well as a huge announcement and i'm very excited about it can't wait to share it so here we go thanks for watching y'all all right what's going on everybody so today is tuesday um i just got the hood built still got to put like some bracing under here like i'm gonna put a 90 and kind of make the roll where it'll hold and then i thought i was gonna complete the mod body yesterday and i got all the way to here and i did not have our template that we used to have it was uh in the last video you saw the claw at the at the uh uh the scrapyard got a hold of it so we know we don't have it any longer and i miss by by that much so uh that hurts I, i'd have rather miss by like a mile than that but what is fixing to take place what's on today's agenda dad and i are fixing to sit down and do a podcast for uh patreon so and i don't like to i I appreciate my Patreon members, but I don't like to plug my Patreon too often because I don't want people to think that, you know, we're trying to get rid of YouTube or we're trying to this or trying to that. But for the people that, that want to see more of our personal lives, that, that want to know more about what we are away from the racing side of things, uh, Patreon is exactly that. You can check it out. We've got a link in the description. You can go find all the information you want. We'd love to have you on Patreon, but again... Like I said, I'm not trying to, you know, get you out of more money or anything like that. But for the people that, that care or, or, you know, want to know more about us, that's a way to, to get to know us on a more personal level. So, the other thing on today's agenda, they're doing it on that side right now. This is an aftermath deal. Um, whenever we add it on to the shop, we never imagined that this kind of stuff would be taking place. So we never never had any de desire or need or whatever to cut this. Now that this truck's here, I can't, sw I can't turn properly without almost sending that down the side of the rig. Um, so anyways, that puts you out 
outside of your your gravel and the in the hard ground and when it's wet you know that happens so we are i've got to get some maintenance done to this thing and while it's gone dad's gonna re redrag all of this stuff and uh it's it's getting pretty hard should be good after that but uh the other thing we are and we'll talk more about it on 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 our patreon for the people that you know care to know but we are i i am seriously considering getting rid of my big rig um it served me well it's uh it's been great i i love the the fact that i'm able to carry every single thing that i want and everything you know that that i have a desire to do like it's fully capable of that however going up and down the road like i have I, Call me what you want, say what you want. This thing right here gives me nightmares of, of just, you know, going, going for a ride. So trying to, trying to get, a, get, a, get away from, you know, being, being like this and, and kind of more so here. But anyways, I don't know if that'll take place or not. But if you're interested, we've got a guy that's supposed to be if, if he if he falls through then we'll you know go further with that but anyways already knocked that side off so yeah we're supposed to haul that today again so there's that I was just talking about that. So. Like I said, he's gonna do that to everything once once that's gone for service. All right, so we're fixing to uh, try to prank the boss. Big time. But we got Rosie shaking out of her skin right here. Bless her heart. She's so excited. We got a, uh air horn hooked up underneath here, and uh, he's bringing us back lunch. We shouldn't do him like that because he's bringing us lunch. So, wow. huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll we'll, we'll uh, I'll turn the camera on when he gets here, and and uh, we'll see what we can if we can get something out on him. Here we go. And get, get my rat, and then I was like, I need to get everybody some food. So then I get some food, and uh, it, took a, it took a minute. Right here. Got prank, no? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have rigged up here? This is a basic, oh, yeah. basic, it's basic, basic design. Yeah. What are you doing? A little dot in this, huh? A little bit of dot in this, baby. Tell you what you hadn't done. Burnt them boxes. That's initiation for the new guy. 
My bad. You're right. You're right. If my first day, I had to burn a box without burning the yard down. I burnt the yard down. <laughs> You passed the test, huh? Yep. So uh, we fired the crate late model up. Everything was good with it. Um, I, the, trying to video here. So anyways, we got the, got the nose braced up on the left and right side. Um, I've got to put a, put a brace right here in, our, in the middle of our hood. And then... Uh, after that, we're waiting on Ryan to come and install the wrap. And uh, we'll be ready to rip. Man, this has been a long couple days. I don't know about for you, but it feels like it's dragging. You cut that. I cut that? The rest of these are pretty close enough. Hold up. This is the best part of putting a body on right here. That spring steel. We got two matches. These questionable no, with intolerance. No, they ain't. They ain't even close. We'll have to drill them out. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that one. That one will work. Anyways. Th this one ain't gonna work. This one isn't either. What happened? You did that. There's no way that's right. Yeah, you did that or something. All right, we'll be back once we figure this out. I'll make a bigger hole. Man, this thing turned out perfect. Look at it. Look at that. So special thanks to all of these great people right here. We really appreciate it. And then, of course, all of the great sponsors and partners we have on this thing.